Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Mosaic Football 20 box blaster case. Pick your team number 33 with the Bengals. Randomize the group if you follow the instructions right there. And let's see who did. All right, so Aaron bought at least two teams. That's an entry to try to get the Bengals. Basically, you have to buy an even number of teams. Andrew with two, Jason with two, John with two, Karen with two. That's an entry. LA with two. Martin bought 10 teams, so that's five. Michael only got the Steelers. Matt got two, that's an entry. Ryan with two, that's an entry. Sean with two, that's an entry. And Bulldog fan with two, that's an entry right there. All right, let's roll it, let's randomize it. Four and a six, ten times. Name on top gets the Bengals. One, two, three, four, five, six. And tenth and final time after ten. Uh, it's Mac, Mike McCarthy. There you go. Congrats to you. You've got the Bengals in this one. Familia, what's going on? Yen, is it a little guitar tonight? Maybe, maybe on the uh, Instagram stream. Maybe I'll serenade Teddy Jaspi. All right, now I can print and rip this. Buzzer breaks. Hmm. So you can use it? I'm, gi I'm giving my, my competition technology advice. I'm not sure. Do I want to do that? What do you think, guys? Should that be nice? It's a uh, 1980s style Polaroid camera. That's <laughs> what we're using. What are we using? Slide this over right here. Here is all the the final printout right there. Thanks, everyone, once again, for getting in. We're using a Sony AX6000, I think is what it is. A, A6000? AX6000? I think it's just, maybe it's just an A. Sub there and random.org not being nice to you tonight. There is one, there's two left in that filler, Jarrell is saying. Maybe at this point, F it. Maybe just grab those last two in the other filler and see what happens. It's a one of those old film cameras. Like the camera like Zapruder was using on the grassy knoll. Left in the filler, the one with two left on the website. Right here, <laughs> that 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 one. Right. 
So I guess uh, I guess Vegas did know what they were doing. They uh, they they knew that Gonzaga could cover the, the thirty three and a half points or the thirty three points. I think UCLA is on channel two. It's channel two out here. Hmm. UCLA up 63-52 on BYU. There you go, Bruins. Carrying over that, that overtime momentum. CBS is channel two for us in Los Angeles. Where, where, where is it for you and where are you located? Of course it is. You're in la you're in the area. Talking about people outside of this this region here. <laughs> Did they really, Lonnie? They put the bracket on the score. Oregon one, VCU zero. Everyone took the under on that, right? Nice. Thanks, Joshua. That's going to go tomorrow. Nice. Thanks for selling that out, folks. So that's that's our evening. We're doing this mosaic, which should take us about 30, 40 minutes. All right, we're just, just getting started on here. So probably another 30 or 40 minutes from, from now. And then we'll go into the mini helmets, which is a quick, fun break. And then impeccable, which is also a fun little break right here. Who is giving UCLA a 0% chance of winning, Logan? The pundits, the talking heads. I think that if you looked at like the game cast win percentage or whatever, I think they actually had a decent shot. Alvin Cook, remember greens are not numbered, but they will ship. Only veteran commons like this Darren Waller won't ship. Pro Bowl inserts will ship, and obviously Mahomes with the will to win will ship. Nice AJ Dillon Green, rookie green. Silver Mariota, that'll ship. I wonder what they're, what's going to happen Mariota. What's going to happen with Sam? Jens was asking, was asking, uh, where's Sam Darnold going to go? Now that Deshaun Watson's in all sorts of legal trouble now, nice green Joe Burrow. Bengals, Mike McCarthy. Now that Russell Wilson doesn't seem like he's going anywhere now. He was, but he wasn't. I still could, I guess. You know, but that window seems to be closing a little bit. Super Bowl champion Keyshawn Vaughn, Mosaic Pattern, Buccaneers, Andrew. I don't know, 
know, Dak Prescott's already paid. He's set. So now I don't know what's going to happen. There's Dak Prescott right on cue. There's Chase Young, green. For the Washington football team, Ryan. I guess Washington still needs a quarterback, right? Or... I think the Saints are sticking with, with Winston and Taysom Hill, Logan. I mean, I think they've always liked those guys from the get-go. I think that was the plan. I mean, you know, front offices can totally lie to people this time of year. You know, smoke and mirrors and all that sort of stuff. Leading up to the draft, they don't want to give away too much. But, I mean, all indications seem to think that they're not dancing around it. They're saying those are the guys, and that's that's that. It's Tyler Johnson, Tom Brady Super Bowl champ, Tyler Johnson Super Bowl champ, rookie green, going to the Buccaneers, Andrew. No, Mixa. I, I don't mind watching fights, but I got, I got UCLA college basketball going on right here, so... Watching, watching my Bruins. There's Chase Claypool. NFL debut green. Nice parallel here from Michael Gallucci. Steel curtain back in the action. And uh, looks like Juju Smith-Schuster back in the action with Pittsburgh. I think he even took a pay cut. Maybe not a pay cut, but I think he turned down bigger offers to uh, stay with Pittsburgh and give it another go. All right, another, another five. A fight just ended with a schoolyard headlock. No, Logan, Logan hates BYU. Why? Like, uh, if you're looking for, we're, we're booked for the night on this side, but if you're looking for personal breaks, uh, go, Teddy just came back from dinner. He's online at Jaspies Breaks on Instagram Live. You can go to jaspies.com for personal boxes. Right, that's the big if for uh, that's the big if for Winston. I mean, he he did he still threw last time he was a starter. He did threw throw 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 for uh, thirty touchdowns. That's a lot. Maybe part of that was because he was throwing so many interceptions, he had to catch up, you know. But he also had thirty interceptions. If he just turns that into, if he can cut that in half, I, I, fifteen interceptions isn't. It's not still not good, but even if you dropped fifteen interceptions, how many how many interceptions of his were like were directly game losers? You know. So if if he can just cut that down a little bit, that could be huge in that offense. Right, the infamous not not a not a good baseball thirty for thirty, but the infamous thirty for thirty. He's also got to stop doing. It. I don't think he's done it since. But no more eating W's, Jameis Winston. That's just that was kind of weird. No, I I don't think Instagram connects to, at least not not yet. I know maybe their messenger is connected together now, Instagram and Facebook, but. As of now, no. The Instagram does not does not broadcast on Facebook. Oh, 
Oh, Washington signed Fitzpatrick. That's right. As a starter? So maybe they're, they're maybe they're drafting quarterback. So they might win this one. They're up 68-57 with a minute 40 left. They just, oh, I was just going to say, if they just make the free throws down the stretch, which this kid just missed, they're going to be hard to... Let's roll here. So Adam Copperman, if you're still listening, so what's going to happen with Sam Darnold? Or are they still going to... Well, now, with the Watson situation, I feel like I feel like no one's really eager to, to trade him. And I don't, I don't know if Houston was eager to trade him in the first place. I think they were, gonna, they were, they were down to have a face-off. But now, it's a different kind of waiting game now. There's Jalen Hurts, NFL debut green for Martin and the Philly, Philly not Phillies, Eagles, Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> There's a base Joe Burrow right here. Gut feeling is that Adam saying he needs a Jets guy. Is that Darnold will still get traded somewhere and the Jets will end up drafting a QB. Yeah, I agree. I'm, yeah, I think we we've, we've shared that opinion. I'm I'm still I'm still on that opinion too. I think just give Darnold one more year, right? I think he has like a year or two left on his deal. Why not just improve other parts of the team? Give him a defense. Give him some more weapons, and uh, you know, and see what happens for for the next year. Maybe they'll be surprised. Hmm. I don't know what what did the Hawkinson look like? Did it, if it looked like well that's not that's a rookie. If it looked just like a basic vet common, no that that will not ship. That'll be considered a veteran common. Obviously, if it's a rookie, it'll ship. If it's silver, silver Dak Prescott will ship. Otherwise, inserts will ship. If it said something like that, that would ship. You know, if it's green like that, that'll ship. NFL debut green, Justin Jefferson. Right, exactly, yeah. If they do trade it, how much value are you really going to get out of Sam Darnold? Right, so you may as well just keep him. You know, add, add what you can in free agency and in the draft this year. Worst comes to worst, right? If he's still garbage after he gets weapons, if he's still garbage, another low draft pick, and you can chase a quarterback. Easy. Can Watson even recover from this? Even if not proven guilty, pretty much once you're canceled, you never... Well, here's the thing. If you are... If you are talented enough, the NFL will still hire you. You'll still get a job. The people who get canceled and don't come back, that happens because... 
they're not that great. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that's in that in athletics, that's the truth of it. Front offices will look the other way on just on stuff like that. Do you wise? Who cares? If you're Miguel Cabrera and you can you can hit, win triple crowns, you know, doesn't matter. Domestic violence, we we've seen a lot of teams that just it's not a big deal to them. Bill Bates autograph for Dallas. It's a Bulldog fan with that one. There you go. Old Dallas safety. Autographs are few and far between in this sort of stuff. Yeah, even Vic came back. Well, Ray Rice wasn't good. <laughs> That's why he didn't come back. Ray Lewis still came back. You know, so... But Ray Lewis was good. Hall of Fame good. That keeps you in the league. Well, no, yeah. I mean, Ray Lewis was in it. What I want to say, Rex's, Rex's scenario was even if Watson was not guilty, which Ray Lewis was not guilty. I don't think I don't think cancel culture is as strong when you're a top athlete. If you're not a top athlete, just like everybody else, you know. Pete was only, was only canceled by the fuddy duddies over at the Hall of Fame and the MLB front office. <laughs> I think I think a lot of fans at this point think that, like you and I, probably think that that he should be in the Hall of Fame. I mean, listen, you know, you and I tweet out something terrible, you know, we're, we probably lose our jobs. I agree, Lonnie. I think they're going to settle anyway. I think it's just going to be too much. I mean, do you, does, does Deshaun Watson, and it's, that's the tough part about being a public figure, right? Whether he's guilty or not. I mean, smoke and fire, I, 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 I think something's happening, you know what I mean? You know, but if you're Deshaun Watson, you don't want this dragging out in, in, in public, a long, drawn-out court case, blah, 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 blah. Just, just tear the Band-Aid off. <laughs> Settle. Don't go through this through a civil suit and all that. NFL definitely doesn't want that to happen. Goodell's just like, make this go away now. <laughs> Is what he's telling him. Take the suspension, whatever personal conduct suspension that he's going to get from Goodell's office. Take that and and don't put <laughs> and lesson learned. Don't put yourself in that position again.
I think UCLA is going to win this, folks. 72 to 60. Fifteen point seven seconds left. There you go, Logan. Logan hates BYU. Stupid BYU is not going anywhere. Now you can see. Now you can see all those, all those, all those BYU fans crying, crying in the streets. All right. Yeah, it helps my bracket too. I had a little financial interest in the uh, little financial interest in uh, UCLA as well. A little coffee money. Now I have more coffees. Uh, four point four seconds left. I'll just run it out. Nice job, Bruins. Good job. There's gonna be happy times on Bruin Talk. On, the, on my drive home tonight. Old Bruin talk. That's a thing. I don't want to put underplay the severity, but that's what angers me. It weirds me out. That, well... Because then it, you most likely have to testify. And I, th I think just put yourself in their shoes. I think it'd be kind of traumatic to relive this in public, in front of court cameras, in, or in court reporters, in front of an audience, in front of press, getting asked questions. All that's now out in, out in the public. You know? You got people who are probably think they're, you probably think, a lot of people probably th would think they're like lying. You know, so you got you got people yelling at them on social media and in the streets and whatnot. So I think that I think that's why a lot of times you see you see cases like that get settled because you don't want to get all this dragged through a public court. Who knows how long this trial goes if it goes to trial? So a lot a lot of times this gets settled. If it's with people who have, who are rich and who are rich, right? They're pressured to settle because they're almost given. Because usually in the settlement case, think about it. It's, 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 it's a power. There's some, someone has power over you. It's not like two equals in a sexual harassment case or something like that. That, that's, that's a little different. You know, if you're on equal footing, then like, if I sexually harass you, Rex, like you and I, like you can't ask me to settle. The only re the only recourse you're going to get to punish me is to go to court and put me to jail. You know, there's Everson Griffin or something like that. But with the, in the settlement situation, you're talking. We're most likely talking about a big public figure. And that get that gets tricky when. When, you're, when that public figure probably has a lot more fans than John Q. Public, you know, so it's a, it's an uphill battle. So it's got to be an invasion of your own privacy. Your private life is all the way out in the open. I don't know if I would want to do it if I was in the same shoes. Put all that out there. Yeah, and that that that's the tricky. That yeah, that's the that's the tricky thing. Is that these cases are notoriously hard to. Are hard to like handle it, whether criminally. That Deshaun Watson's a civil suit. He's not been charged with anything by, by the police or anything like that. So this is just a civil suit, which is a little different. There's Lynn Bowden Jr. Still Raiders edition here. So it's a tricky situation all around. It's it's not it, this this is not fun for anybody. <laughs> you know, whenever these situations happen. These cases are so notorious, like, you can't really... That's why, like, I think it's hilarious when people try to put, like, blanket statements on, like, every situation is different. Like, you, every situation is different. There's no right or wrong way to to go about any of that. Silver Viking, 
NFL debut edition, though, goes to Martin and the Vikings. Adam, what do you got? You had a dollar parlay on Maryland, Ohio, UCLA, and USC minus six and a half, and the under for Iona. And you got the 80 bucks. The under on the Iona Alabama game. Also, Oregon five minus five and a half. So, luckily, the, minus, the one score doesn't count, and that was taken out. What would it be if you had the Oregon minus five and a half? Exactly, Robert. Situations are situational. Absolutely. Maybe hundred bucks if you if you had Oregon and they covered. Well, yeah. Now I would imagine I don't think the Texans were eager to trade him anyway, in the first place. So I don't know what happens with that. To be honest with you, does that mean they're more eager to trade him? They probably are now. Let's just get rid of him. He's a PR nightmare at the very least, you know. Or a predator at the worst, you know, like, you know what I mean? So they're kind of in a weird position. But now do clubs even want to take that baggage from Deshaun Watson? So who knows how this plays out. But Chase Claypool rookie. Oh, it would be 150 if that Oregon was still in there. Not bad, though. I'll take that. How many times have you won $80 on a dollar scratcher? Very rare. <laughs> You know, but eighty dollar on a on a fun little sports parlay for a dollar, I'll take that. You know, you're going to be watching these games anyway, so you may may as well try to make a little little money off of it. I don't know if Brandon Richards has checked in today, but Brandon Richards has these crazy like. Fifteen dollar, twenty dollar, uh, multi team, multi under parlays, maybe ten legs or something like that, to win like hundreds of thousands of dollars. I want that to happen for him someday. Yeah. Back in there. Cool. Thank you. Just take that. Right, Louis C.K. I think he's, he hasn't been... I think he's going to still work. So, yeah. Deshaun Watson. Just things, things going worse for him. All right, so now we got Abilene Christian... Which I think is a school in Texas, right? And Texas. And Ab Abilene Christian is, is up by three points with 738 left in this game. What's going on? Where is Abilene Christian? Abilene? Abilene? In Abilene, Texas, yes, okay. Um, where is Abilene, Texas? I need a map. I, see, I just want to geographically know where these places are. Home to the Grace Museum. Looks like they're about... Looks like they're about, what, a few hours away? A few hours east of Fort Worth? Adam needs a Texas win here. What other parlay do you have? You did a same parlay plus Shane Lowry winning the golf tournament, tournament and Denny Hamlin winning the NASCAR. Yeah, how far is Lowry away? 25 cents for 1400 You know what? I have not experimented with those multi-sport props too often. I think I am on Hamlin, though. I think I have this written down somewhere. Why are they switching out basketballs? Yeah, I think I got a little bit on Hamlin, a little bit on Keselowski. 
a little less on Kyle Busch. A tiny bit on Chris Bell. Scratcher money on Alex Bowman, Bubba Wallace, Ricky Stenhouse, DiBendetto, and Eric Jones at 101. Yeah, but if, if, if 25 cents can get you 1,400 bucks, you just... You can do that. You can do that once a week, the entire golf and NASCAR season, for years, <laughs> before it becomes a bad bit, right? And it just has to hit once. I heard a story. I listened to a number of uh, gambling podcasts, and I think this was the Behind the Bets podcast with Duck Kazarian, which is a very kind of broad, high-level sort of podcast, but it's entertaining. Um, I think. Who do they have there? I think they have John Murray, I think, from Westgate. Sportsbook director at Westgate. And this was years ago, but he's but I heard a really funny story, which I would I'm I want to try someday. He was saying that there was a, a regular better, NFL better at, at Westgate. And um, this guy would, you know, would do a, either a money line parlay. I think it was a money line parlay, or maybe it was against the spread. I don't know. But he would pretty much pick. Um, he would pretty much pick all, every single game as one big parlay. You know, a week, right? And he bet like a thousand dollars on that to win like, I don't know, a hundred k or something like that. And he said this guy was good enough where where he would just he would just do it once a week, you know. So he's doing it once. A, he'd win at least once in a season. So the sixteen hundred dollars or seventeen hundred dollars, seventeen thousand dollars that he's spending, you know, would be covered right away by like whatever hundred thousand hundred plus thousand dollars he'd win. And I was like, wow, that's pretty ballsy. You know? No, not tonight, Ryan. We, unfortunately, we are booked up for tonight. I'm afraid. Yeah, I think I've made may have made helped you make that decision for you. Uh, yeah, I think Truex in Atlanta, I think has traditionally been been pretty good there. Larson too, but uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy, right, Adam? If I, if, if I retire and I if, if I retire to Vegas or something like that, I feel like that's something I'd do. <laughs> I'd be like, not $1,000 maybe, but maybe $100 on every single game. Just got to win once and I'll be like, boom. But McSub, you got to think about the, uh, think about who can run well on, 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 on rough tires is allegedly, <laughs> I'm just parroting what I've been reading. I don't actually know this. But I think I think this is the ooh nice silver burrow. Mac, who got randomized the Bengals. I think from what I'm reading, Atlanta kind of eats up your tires, and you got to be a driver that knows how to drive on bad tires, which obviously Hamlin and Christopher Bell are really really good at that, right? Who's tire strategy is, is, is so important, especially in Atlanta. I think the, I, you know, I think Lars, Larson and, uh, and Truex Jr. are favorites for the for a reason. I think. I think they are the favorites. And Harvick too. I think it's Harvick, Truex, and Larson like are, are like the favorites at like plus four hundred. I think Harvick's at plus four hundred. Larson might be plus six hundred, maybe. Truex might be plus five hundred, like five to one around there. Harvick four and a half to one. Ooh. And a Keenan Allen Genesis. Nice. These are pretty rare. We've done 33 of these 20 box blaster cases. A Genesis is not guaranteed in, each, in any of these cases. We may have pulled 
10 Genesis out of all, all the those cases that we've done? Maybe half? Yeah, Har Harvick will win, right? He's a beast in Atlanta. Yeah, but it's hard to bet on Harvick because there's so much variance in, in auto racing. It's like, yeah, sure, take Harvick at four to four and a half, four to one, right? At plus four hundred, but then you're like, well, then you got to lay a lot of money, you know. And I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to invest that much in NASCAR. So that's why I try to look for at least like, you got to hope for seven to ten to one around there. Sometimes you you'll luck out and get the 25 to one. I remember, was it one of the Dylan, one of the Dylans won Daytona a few years ago. I remember that. It was like a big wreck, I think with like 40 or 30 laps left, 20 laps left or something like that. Knocked out a bunch of the field and, uh, and I won an Austin Dillon bet at 50 to one or something like that, plus 5,000. I know Daytona is a different beast, but but there's enough variance where you're like Austin Dillon, right? But there's enough variance. Um, there's enough variance that it'll be. It's I want to take the longer shots. It's a little more fun anyway. I don't know that, that I haven't. Gosh, I haven't watched a dirt track since I I played it on PS4. No, um, you know. What are the what are the big uh, what are the cars that have the really big wings on them, and then they're on those short dirt tracks and they're like sliding sideways the entire time, but they got the huge wings. It's the one, it's the one where Tony Tony Stewart killed that kid. Um, one of those cars. What are they called? There's like a name for it. I think Jeff Earn Jeff Earnhardt. No, I think Jeff Earnhardt's daughter. I think Dale Earnhardt's niece. I think she's on that circuit right now. But, yeah, like 410 sprints, yeah. I think John I think John Wenzel's got it, yeah. And those are really fun to watch. Yeah, like the sprint cars, like, I have to say, that's really fun to watch. I think there's a small dirt track south of us here that where they do some 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 racing. There, which I have not been to, but I want to. But you know, like Fox Sports West or some random channel, like late at night, will will have that late at night, and and you watch a dirt racing, and it's wild. So to see it on, to see it done up with like a NASCAR production, I think would be amazing. Is this the first time they've they've done it? Jonathan Taylor Green, like on in NASCAR. They must have had it around decades ago, no? There's a CJ Henderson to 25 for the Jaguars. Ryan Heinz with that one. But yeah, the trucks are going to be crazy to see. I mean, Bristol's tiny enough. Now you got now you got people sliding around all over the place. That's going to be wild, boys and girls. We'll talk about that more a little next week. Maybe we should dig up some, some racing. Some NT racing. Remember NT racing? All right. Thanks, everybody, uh, for watching. That was 20 Box Blaster Break. Pick a team 33, 2020 Panini Mosaic Football. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.